what we have here is a 12 hour Minecraft clock. As you can see, the sun's starting to come up. up. But you can clearly see that the uh, clock is working with that carryover that just happened. It goes to a full 12 hours. So when it's 9.59, 59, it'll go to 10. And then it'll continue till it's 12.59, 59, and then it'll go back to 1. But let me show you how this works since the sun is coming up. Timing couldn't be better. As you can see, the clock is still going. And it will continue going as I demonstrated to you. And just to give you a sheer, an understanding of the sheer size of this thing, I'll go ahead and hop up here. There you have it, right there. It's pretty big, you can't even see the whole thing. And these are basically the outputs you're seeing here. They're coming from each of the uh, counters. Let me scoot on down there. Oh, Ooh. no ladder there. Oops. So I'll just climb up this output for the seconds, as you can see, ticking. Kind of went with the same design, only I did it above ground this time, if you uh, saw my second counter previous to this one. This is the new encoder that I made. Took the place of that two floor area, if you saw my second counter. Much smaller, much nicer, and it's faster. Don't have that lag anymore, so I don't need that interrupt command. But here's your flip-flops. Flip-flops accumulate bits. Here's my latch. My good old RS Nor latch, right? Here it is. And what happens is, as the pulse comes through, it sets the latch output. Latch output will go positive here in a moment. But what you see that was red, now it's sending a positive, so it'll cascade down positive. But what was positive here, one, was coming from the zero. The zero was saying, hey, I'm a, you know, a one. And so then the, it interrupts the RS Nor latch so that it's a zero now, and it'll just cascade on down as a zero and continue forward. Essentially what is going on now is the output on the second, on the zero for the second, will uh, carry over to a whole new section and this is what will keep track of the 10 seconds. How many 10 seconds have gone by? And this is two floors and it's only six flip-flops as opposed to the 10. That's because you really only need to carry uh, six ten seconds to make a minute, and so it makes it smaller. And then I have the zero right here. Flip flop coming from the flip flop, and should be an RS nor latch below me. Right, it's sending an interrupt command to, and that will come over to our minutes. This is our one minute right here. Kind of had to be a little more creative on this bridge. There's your RS nor latch. The flip flops. There's ten flip flops because there's ten one minutes. That continues, flips up here to the 6, continues downward until it reaches 0. As you can see, that's where the uh, encoder is, or decoder actually I should say. Once that's done, this is the 0. I can follow this down. Actually this is the um, block for the output for when the 1 changes. But uh, I have down here, I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, here, here you go. This is going down, which I can't follow right now without breaking that light, which I don't feel like doing right now. I'll just jump. That comes all the way down here. Comes to the new one for the 10 minutes. And this keeps track to the 10 minutes. There's your snore latch. Cascades down, there's only six of these. One, two, three. It goes up, again, same thing. Flips over, six. There's your D flip flops, my encoder. Basically, the way this works is I have the invert and the uh, correct output coming out of this bad boy. So when it's a one, it shows a one. When it's a zero, it shows a one. Unless its neighbor becomes a one or a zero next. And so it just cascades on downward. 
And here's the biggest one of them all. This is 12 D flip flops Ooh. on our snore latch. This one keeps track of the hours. Does the exact same thing. Sure, it's not the most efficient way of doing it, but it works. I had figured it out all on my own. Here's all your your bits. And this one right here is actually for the one. The one only needs to be on or off. There's no other purpose to it. And then the rest of these are for the actual numbers. But as you can see, it's a very large structure. Very large indeed. It took me days to do this. And I'm sure it shows. <laughs> see here. I want to hop up on something really tall so you can get a good idea how big this bad boy really is. Oh, that's right. I just installed the flight mod. I could just fly. There you go. Each floor yeah, base level, next level, base level, next level. These two buildings here are basically the seconds, 10 seconds, minutes, 10 minutes, and then the hour is over here. But you can see this is a rather large project. Ran into a minor issue. Um, if you're using an inventory editor like I do, there's no way I could possibly do this gathering the redstone and myself and the materials. But, you know, I didn't do it to get the materials. I did it to make this. So it doesn't really matter to me. If you want to say I'm cheating or whatnot, I really don't care. Um, but if you use an inventory editor, if you do the infinite, which this is right here, you'll actually, you can only do so many of those before it'll start breaking apart. And that's a horrible thing to have happen, very frustrating on a big project like this. I was literally running around breaking something and replacing it to only find something that I knew was fixed just a moment before was broken as well. So keep that in mind, you uh, creative developers here. But as you can see, this is just trucking along. That's saying at nine. <laughs> There's no way that's possible. Yeah, and you did indeed see a 9 there, and that's because I didn't put the interrupt down here. Pause the video just to kind of figure it out and figured it out just now. Break that out there. Put my interrupt down here. Basically what was happening was my three and my four were transmitting. That's creating a nine. Oh, just short. You see that? Darn. Hmm. Guess I'll have to set up a repeater. It kinda sucks. And that should have solved the problem. There we go. Yep. So now when we go down here, we should see a four or a three. It should be a four. That's a little tiny thing right there. Should have made sure it was ready before we start recording. That's it right there. Should be fixed. Four. One little tiny thing. There you have it. Twelve hour clock. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions, and I'll appreciate the feedback, and you all take care now.